Hello everyone and welcome to Saturday. We actually started off today by um, having a lunch at the Marriott. It was the employees lunch and mom works for the Marriott so we got to go and enjoy a nice lunch. And then we had a Craigslist deal. We were trying to do two today but the other one hasn't come to fruition yet. But we did one. We got a Genesis. God, I can't turn that way. Genesis in the hookups. Um, three controllers. No, Wii U. <laughs> yeah, we got a Wii U. And uh, there's 48 games. Uh, there's no boxes, just the games. But uh, 48 games, three controllers, and all the hookups for the Genesis and the Genesis itself. 45 bucks. It's pretty impressive. The only problem is we try to collect Genesis games with the actual boxes. So I'm not really sure what we're going to do with this stuff. I don't know if we're going to pick out a few and save them or if we're just going to trade everything in. There's definitely a few games worth some stuff in there, and I'm not real familiar with Genesis games either, so, I mean, if I'm looking at a stack of Super Nintendo games, I can tell you what all of them are worth, but I can't really do that with Genesis, so I haven't checked all of the games, but um, I'd say that we have a pretty good amount of, of trade-in value if we wanted to. I, it would, I mean, we paid $45 for everything, and I'm certain that we could easily get, I don't know, Probably that and a half. I don't know. We might, and then just get some stuff we wanted. Um, just because I would like to have the boxes, but we could decide later. Uh, while we're down here, there's a uh, there's a pawn shop nearby that we've checked. So we might do that. We might hit up a few other places um, since we're buying games. The other deal that we were trying to um, do was actually an NES with uh, some some really nice games and a really really good deal. So I'm hoping that that'll come through too. It was interesting because all this stuff actually came in a Wii U box, so now we have a Wii U box. So no Wii U. I was actually contemplating just taking a uh, picture of the Wii U box and putting it on Twitter and being like, look what we got for $45. Yeah, anyway. Uh, okay, let's uh, do other stuff. All right, bit of an update. Uh, a lot of time has passed since the last clip in this clip. Um, I mentioned that there was a pawn shop that we were gonna visit. Uh, pawn shop was kind of a bust, but right next to the pawn shop is a flea market, and the flea market has always been super crappy. We stopped in, and I'm really, really glad we did. Games I got include Digimon World 1 and 3. 3 is sealed. For those don't, that aren't aware, uh, Digimon 3 new is a $70 game. Used for like the disc is like 30 bucks and I've got it sealed. Now, it's not sealed with the plastic, it's just sealed with the top thing, so it wouldn't count as a new game, but it'd still be worth a good bit of money. And, uh, yeah, I paid, what is essentially like four or four fifty for it. So, uh, it was pretty fantastic. Um, there's a bunch of other games in there that were all pretty good deals, so I'm very happy with that. Um, I didn't think the NES thing was gonna come through, but it is. We're actually uh, currently waiting on that guy to get here. We're getting an NES. Several controllers. I think we're getting a gun. I'm not sure. And 16 games, good games, um, from a uh, good home. This is the person's childhood NES. Uh, River City Ransom is one of the games, and that game goes for about 20-25. So, good stuff. Really good freaking day. All right. So uh, we just got a hold of the uh, the NES and a ton of games. Um, Castlevania. Apparently, there's two copies of Castlevania, so we'll trade in one of those. Um, Mega Man 3. Zelda 2, um, there's two copies of Duck Hunt, so we can trade in those. Top Gun, uh, Batman, Donkey Kong Classics, Dr. Mario, we already have Dr. Mario. Um, what's this? Uh, Kung Fu Heroes, Ninja Gaiden, which we have. Mega Man 2, um, River City Ransom, which I'm really excited about. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, and uh, Tetris. So we did good. Let's go to Player's Choice. Well, we got back and I just laid everything out and uh, I can actually show you what we got for the amount we spent today. Um, I'm not exactly 100% sure what we spent, but I think it was about $120. Um, and for the record, when we went to Player's Choice, we decided to just trade in straight up pretty much everything that we got from, uh, from that Genesis deal, just because we didn't really want loose carts. There was a few games in there worth something, uh, Comic Zone, um, Earthworm Jim, Sonic 3, I think those were the only games we really cared about, but we decided to just go ahead and trade everything in. Um, we kept one Genesis controller, which was something. Um, so everything you see before you is going to be what we got for uh, about 120 And this is it, not the kitties. Kitties we had before. Uh, we have a front-loading NES, which I have tested, and it has a little flashing light problem. So uh, I think the contacts need cleaned for it to work. Um, I guess I'll 
get on that. Um, we have two controllers. We do have the hookups for that. Um, we also, in the 120, is also considering the fact that we had to buy a, uh, a new adapter. Picked up Metal Gear Solid 2 for three bucks. Pretty cool. Um, all of the NES games came with the uh, the NES system. Some of them were trade-ins to uh, some of them that aren't here. Uh, you know, Zelda, we traded those in for uh, store credit to get some other stuff. Um, River City Ransom, uh, Kung Fu Heroes, Mega Man 2 and 3, Castlevania, Top Gun, Batman, Attack of Killer Tomatoes, Tetris, and Donkey Kong Classics, all games that we didn't have. Uh, we traded in for, for well, we traded in for um, the AC adapter, but we also got some pretty rare games. Uh, Earthworm Jim 2, not exactly rare, but they didn't have it. Uh, Pocky and Rocky, a uh, pretty rare game. And then Joe and Mac 2, which I've never actually seen a physical copy of. Um, it's not terribly rare, but I've never seen it before, so I was pretty happy about getting uh, those three titles. So I got those. And then, um, obviously, we got the Sega Genesis controller. Picked up Shenmue 2 for three bucks. And then um, I got all of this stuff for, what was it, 45 I believe everything here was 45 but uh, the, the price on this was, was $3. But um, Digimon World 1 and 3, very high dollar games. Um, and some of the other stuff is, is worth more than she was asking for it. Um, not all of them, but a good bit of them. Digimon World 1 and 3, Rumble Arena, Dragon Ball Z, Ultimate Battle 22, and Final Bout. Uh, Gundam Battle Assault 1 and 2, Harvest Moon Back to Nature, a Yu-Gi-Oh game, a Cubix game. But all of this stuff pales in comparison to the ultimate purchase I made today, which was at the flea market. I bought a new copy, brand new, still in the packaging, of Shaquille O'Neal's rap album, Shaq Diesel. Being completely serious here. It was in the plastic. I bought that thing for two bucks, ripped it open, and uh, I don't give a heck if you don't like this album. It is fantastic. It's actually atrocious. Like, me and Mal were just laughing so hard. Oh, God, it feels so bad for Shaquille O'Neal. He's really done it all. He really has. Now he's on automobile commercials. Anyway, um, so this is what we got. We did pretty good. Um, pretty good. I was, I was kind of hoping that we would do better on our, uh, on our Genesis trade-ins, but still not bad. Um, still, still not terrible. And honestly, after we got all the games laid out and we're looking at them, we had a few good ones, but a lot of them were pretty bad. Um, pretty bad, and that's not going to be a lot of trading credit, but still, um, still pretty good, and I'm certainly happy. Also made out, made out with uh, Ra River City Ransom, Mega Man 2 and 3, not bad. Um, now we do have the FC Triple, the one that plays NES, Super NES, and Sega Genesis. I might bring that back over from my parents' house and use it to play NES games for the time being because I don't know how soon I'll be able to get this front loader working. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, all in all, it was a great day. Uh, I got a lot of good games, a lot of uh, rarer titles, and uh, I'm pretty happy. If you guys found anything interesting maybe this weekend or recently, let me know because uh, I had some good luck today, and I hope that you guys have had some good luck recently as well. Uh, we paid, like I said, probably about 120 and certainly... Uh, the value of some of the stuff we have here is, is, is far exceeding that, so I am I'm pretty happy with, with what we got. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Also, throwing this out there, Wednesday we are going to Columbia. Going to have lunch or dinner with Thomas. And also see The Hobbit in 48 frames a second.